Hi, welcome back to this PSLE Math 2022 paper two question I call stacking cuboids. Okay, now this original question did not have one of the diagrams. So I just want to make it very clear that I added this diagram so that I am able to explain it better. Okay, so let's now first look at the keywords to this question. The keywords are Lily had cuboids with a square base and a height, h. So you can see this is the square base and this is the height. Now, the height over here is actually the same as if I were to draw a line here and to put an h, okay? So this is all for understanding. So let's continue. It says, she stacked the cuboids to form the two towers below. So there are only two towers, even though you see five. This is tower one and two. This is also tower one and two from a different point of view. And this is the one that I added. Okay, let's carry on. It says that shown below are the front views and the side views of the two towers. So the front view is the one that you see from here. And the side view is the one that you see here. Okay, next. The question is, what is the height of each cuboid hitch, which means this is actually your first question. And the second question is the volume of each cuboid. So let's begin answering the question. The first thing you should notice is that you only have two numbers that you can use here. And the two numbers are 58 and 94. Well, since these are the only two numbers I can use, then there's very little I can do. And so I will just take 94 minus 58. Okay, I'm going to write it over here. And this is going to give me 36. Now, this 36 that I just found is actually the height over here. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really say very much. You don't know what this is. And if I were to move it over here, again, over here, you can't see very much, but if you were to look at it from over here, you can see exactly what you're looking at. And what are you looking at? Well, what you're looking at is actually, you're finding 36, which is actually a height and one of the sides over here. Now, bear in mind that this and this are the same because this is a square base, okay? Now, if this is a square base, then of course, it also means that this it means that this is equal to this. Okay, so keeping all this in mind, then I'm going to just put here h and this is 36. So 36 is made up of a height and let's just call this a length. Okay, so if I call this a length, then I'm going to write here L, okay? So if this is a length and this is a height, and a length plus a height is 36, so now I know this is a length plus a height. So if this is a length and a height, I can also apply the length and height, which is this much, and I can apply it over here. Now this portion, is actually the same as this. So if this is the same as this, notice that they are both tower one, then I'm now able to take 58 and subtract away this 58, subtract away the blue portion to get the portion here. And this portion happens to be H because this is the height of the cuboid. Okay, so I'm just going to take all this away to prevent confusion. And I'm now going to find height. All right, I'm going to find this. I know from what I found that this is 36. And to find the height, I'm going to take 58. Let me make this clearer for you. Okay, I'm going to take 
58, which is the entire thing, minus 36 to give me the height that I showed over here. Okay, maybe I can make it even clearer by placing it over here. Okay. This would be even better. Okay. So I can find the height. Now, to find the height, all I have to do is take 58, as we have just discussed, take away the 36, which I have just found, and this would give me 22 centimeters. So if this is 22 centimeters, and this is the height, this means that I can now bring it elsewhere. I'm now going to bring your attention by taking the height that I just found over here, and I'm going to place it over here. So this number here becomes 22. So right now, I should get 22 centimeters here. Remember, this is 36. And I'm sure you can see right now that if you were to take 36, subtract 22, you would actually get the length. So now I can find the length. To do that, I will take 36 centimeters. I will subtract 22. And that gives me 14 centimeters. This is the length. Now, I bring attention again over here. If this is 14 centimeters, and this is the length, then this is 14. And since this is a square, this is also 14 because the length and the breadth of a square are the same. That also means that this is 14 and this is 14. So let's show all these numbers on the diagram. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to put here 14, 14, 14, and 14. So right now, I have a cuboid with a length of 14, a breadth of 14, and a height, which I just found to be 22. And we know that to find the volume of a cuboid, the formula is to take the base area, which is length times breadth, and multiply it by height. So the volume of each cuboid should now be length times breadth times height, 14 times 14 times 22. Okay, and whatever this gives me is the answer. Let's put this up. All right, so let's press the calculator, 14 times 14 times 22, and I get 4312. So that's 4312. And since this is volume, that's cubic centimeters. And that's the answer to the question. Now, if there was any part that was unclear, you can always rewind and look back. So the main lesson learned here is that you can actually rearrange the shapes so that the question can be more easily solved. And this applies to most area volume diagram questions. Were the explanations clear for you? If you have any questions, remember to leave it in the comments and I will answer them. If you have found this useful, please share it with your friends, but most important, remember to subscribe as this channel was made to help parents in their journey. I would appreciate that a lot. If you want the worksheet, look in the description below in my Telegram group, join it and you will find the worksheet there. I will see you again.